Hi, now I'm talking to the professional network marketers out there because, listen, I want to be honest with you guys. What we just covered in the previous what to do and how to do it is something that's near and dear to my heart. It's what I've taught for 21 years. But as I've referenced, there are many other ways to do this. There are many other ways to approach. In fact, I'm going to throw a couple of them out there because they have not only been taught for decades, they're successful. They work. There are people that have built million dollar companies. I'm talking that have earned a million dollars a year residually for years, simply saying to people, hey, if the time we were right, would you be open to, to making some extra money? Do you know anybody looking to make a little extra money? Something as simple as that, where they can go out there and very casually ask people to test the waters, to see if there's any interest in an opportunity to make some extra money outside of what you're currently doing. Now, I know that when I do these trainings, I fly in the face of that. So I'm going to try to clear that confusion up right now for everyone because I respect each and every one of you, whether you're brand new, first time in the industry, or you're a 30-year veteran. The reason I teach the way I teach is I only want to have success. I don't want a single person to fall through the cracks. Now, what I will share with you, and we can debate this, is there are two types of people out there. There's the type of person that says, I'm not confident using that script, using that conversation with my friends and family. Either not confident, not willing, whatever, and that's fine. And there's the other person that says, hey, look, that's all cute, kid, but I've made millions of dollars doing it this way, and I'm going to continue doing it this way. And I want to go on the record, on video right now, and say, I endorse and support both of you. No harm, no foul. But what I want to do is just kind of express what I've learned over 21 years to be a fact. And here's what I want you to understand. Every single person that we come into contact with is going to fall on this scale from 1 to 10. Zero. Let's go ahead and use the thick side. No way. Not interested. The second they sniff out its home-based business, they've shut you down. You know who I'm talking about. There are too many people out there that are closed-minded. We can't even describe them. And then you got somebody at the 10. looking for something right now. You've stumbled across them. There are folks out there that are looking for something right now. There's been some traumatic event in their lives that's got them looking right now. Here's the problem. Today, where do you suppose the majority of America falls? And here's why I say this. Does the majority of America need extra money? You betcha. But if I said to you right now, go ask 100 people if they would like to join your new network marketing company or your new home-based business or your new whatever you want to use as a tricky word to hide the fact that you're in a home-based business because there's a million different tricky words they'll teach you. But if you asked 100 people if they want to join your new business, what do you suppose the response is going to be from the majority of them? I can tell you right now that the only thing that scares people faster than telling them you're in a network marketing company is to tell them you work for the IRS, that might get them to run a little faster. But the bottom line is, if we're going to talk to people, how many of them would you like in your business? And I want you to think about this. It's not just the people you're going to talk to. This is an exponential business. So if you have 10 business partners, and they're going to each talk to two people a day, and they have some business partners, what results do you want? Because this is what I'm going to tell you. Zero, one, two, and three could care less what you're doing. Eights, maybe, nines and tens for sure are looking. They're going to join. But if every hundred people out there, you're looking at three to five out of a hundred joining your business, do you know how many people have to be sorted before you can have massive success? Now, there are some people that say, I don't mind sorting. I don't want to get into an uncomfortable conversation. God bless you. Nothing wrong with you. 
but you just have to be ready for that rejection. You have to be okay with people saying, no thanks, I'm not interested. Me, I'm not wired that way. See, if you say no to me, it's a challenge. The challenge is, how can you say no to something that you don't know anything about? And then we debate, and then I win because the logic says you can't say no until you've looked first. But if you're not willing or you're still uncomfortable to have that conversation, if you're saying, hey, I've never used that before, I don't teach it to my people, I don't need it, I'm okay with that. But just understand, you're giving up. Seven out of ten people. And I'm actually personally okay with that because all I have to do is have one of the people that is trained using this, they'll scoop them all back up. And I don't say that to be cocky. I say that to be a matter of a fact in my career. I've had thousands of times this occurred. Somebody reached out to their brother, their cousin, their best friend, their neighbor, their coworker, and they used the hey, if the timing were right, would you, or whatever the phrase was, and the person said, dude, I'm not even interested. Shut them down. The person didn't think twice about it. Six weeks, six months later, somebody got in, said, I'm committed to this. I want to be successful. I want to be a champion. I'm willing to do what you, t you tell me to do it. I'm willing to do it. They learned the conversations. They approached them effectively. They locked them in. They did a three-way conference call. They edified the speaker. The person came to the meeting. The person said, it's the greatest thing I've ever seen. They got in, and guess who was sitting in the third row? The person that approached them three weeks, six weeks, three months, six months earlier and said, well, I told you about this back in, in February. And the guy goes, this isn't what you told me. And you know what? It's right. Because if you use a very casual approach, there's no pain involved. There's no work involved. It's a quick sort, and it does work. You're going to run the risk of running over, running past and overlooking future superstars. And I will sum it up this way. I myself have been unrecruitable in this industry. I myself sit there because I, as a 21-year network marketer, hate the industry hate what I've seen it do, hate the results that people get. So I'm not a fan of network marketing. Yet, how is it that I've been a network marketer for 21 years and owned a network marketing company for just about a decade? Because I know what it can do. I know what the potential is if done properly. So if you go out there and you pull one of those little slick willy techniques on me, I will send you packing faster than your head will spin. But if you take the time and you say to me, hey, look, John, you're an intelligent guy. I know you've been in network marketing for 21 years. I know you have a negative attitude towards the results you've seen overall. But I'm asking you to do me a personal favor and in 21 years worth of experience, evaluate what I'm about to do as a favor to me. Evaluate it and tell me, is this any good? Should I be involved or should I run away from it? That's all I'm asking you to do for me? Well, guess what? You took me from a zero to a 10 and I didn't want to join you in the first place. Why? Because you used a technique that I can't say no to. I can't say no to a friend who says, would you please just do me the favor? I know you're burned out of the industry. I know you don't want anything to do with it. I know there's no way in the world you're going to join. But if this is my future, you do me a huge favor by saving me a mistake. And if it doesn't look bad, maybe you could give me some pointers and send me off in the right direction. Folks, all I'm going to say is this. I've been doing this for 21 years. I've had a little success. I've had a little success building it. If you ran past me and somebody then recruited me and I was in their group instead of yours and you watched me develop my organization, I promise you, we'd need to cut down every low-hanging branch on every tree on your property because you would sit back saying, I contacted you first and I would say, you contacted me improperly. This person got me to look, and here I am. So all I'm going to say to you is, use whatever approach and technique you're comfortable with, but know that there are superstars in the making here that you can't afford to overlook. Don't just grab the low-hanging fruit. If you're serious about being successful, take just a little time, prepare yourself, do it effectively, and get them all. Thanks so much for watching.